Hello, my friends, and welcome back to my channel. I thought today I would pop on and give sort of a little bit of a progress report or an album share to date of the Me, Myself, and I 2021 project that I've been working on since the beginning of the year. If you recall, this was a lovely project started and done by Heba from my little journal. She did it in a traveler's notebook throughout the month of January. She has 31 prompts. She did it in 31 days. I decided to do a six by eight album with each of the prompts being a double page, six by eight, uh, but to spread it throughout the year. And my lovely friend Sarah Scraps is doing the same thing. She is doing it in um, a traveler's notebook type uh, album. Um, and then my friends Becky and Amy were also joining me and have been working on it as well. So I have 17 of the double spreads done already. So that's quite a bit. And I've mentioned to you before that some of the prompts I'm doing exactly and some of the prompts I am tweaking or doing a little bit differently. So I'm going to have a little bit of a look at that with you as well. So, of course, I have my little title page here that I still need to do, which I haven't which I haven't done yet. Then we go on into the first, and this is my sort of opening page, and that is one of the prompts specifically. It was called Me, and it's one of the prompts specifically. Uh, February, this is when I started. I started it after, uh, so February now. So I just give a little bit of information here that gives um, sort of, where I'm going to go with this. So 63 and a half years old, still working three days a week, a difficult few months as mom's primary caregiver, but we seem to have turned a corner. Hmm. Famous last words, not quite, but anyway, <laughs> with the exception of some rural relaxation over July and September, we have been in lockdown for almost a year. I would say we're still, we're, we are still far from back to normal, but we're getting there. We're getting there. I could live on fish, just a statement of fact. Love scrapbooking more than ever. Thankful for technology that allows me to stay in touch with family and friends. And that is more and more important all the time. So there you go. And my pattern for the majority, well, I would say pretty much all of these spreads is the left hand side is a little bit of a scrapbook page so sort of a layout and the right hand page is my journaling with a lot less decoration i'm using the nicole jones 911 printables of the grid paper in medium for my right hand side and i love that and i have that pretty much throughout the album i think there may be one or maybe two that I did not use the grid paper as the background because they were for a stretch the sketch, but we'll see those as we go along. Um, then what I do on the right hand side is I just do a little bit of embellishing to bring back the colors and to sort of frame the journaling. Sometimes the title is on this side as well. Then we go into, hello sunrise, you make me happy. So, that is also a specific um, a specific prompt about something that makes you happy. And these are some sunrise. And this was fun. And what I really liked about these photos is the morning that I took this. This is out of my bedroom window. So I'm very lucky I get to see that in the morning. And then the reflection on the building across the street from me over on the side. This I was using some lovely Jen Hatfield. Favorite social media, also uh, a specific prompt. And here I was talking about Instagram, IG love over here, and a little bit of journaling. So I like to talk about um, the prompt. So this, I, I really, I'm really enjoying this album, and I'm enjoying the exercise that uh, it is in journaling and in writing. So this is a fun one. Home away from home. This is also a very specific prompt that I took from Heba's list. 
and this is Cornwall. This is where my bestie, my best friend uh, for 50 plus years, uh, lives in Ontario, in Cornwall, about an hour and a half away. And it is somewhere that I used to uh, go spend weekends and sometimes even a little bit longer when I could during some of my holidays. But at least, you know, every couple of months I would go spend a weekend with her and her family and it's always so, 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 so lovely to go. Um, hopefully, now that things are back open, I will be able to go this year. But I have not been to Cornwall since, I think, last March. Uh, but we are all now double-dosed. Uh, we are allowed to have up to 10 people in the house as of now here in Montreal. So we have been able to start seeing one another a little bit. Um, since I think it was the end of June, um, she lives with her dad, so she's a primary caregiver as well, although her, her dad, I shouldn't really say that, because quite frankly, Gord, Gord is 84, will be 84, uh, but he is in fantastic shape, so there's no caregiving there much, anyway. So, there you go, home away from home. Then my favorite food, and this is a little bit of a tweak on one of the prompts because it is a prompt specifically, favorite food, but my favorite food is food. And I have some photos here of some shrimp and pasta and veggies. Uh, I just love food. I love food. I love cooking. Did some hexagons here, so this is a fun one as well. A great read. So this, I think one of the prompts here was, is it maybe favorite book? Oh, isn't that funny? I don't even see it. Favorite fears, shows, app, what upsets you, what's in your bag. That one I probably won't do. Home away from the home. Favorite book is down here. And I, and I went with a favorite genre which uh, is, I love, love, love cozy mysteries. So I went with a genre as opposed to a book, and I put a photo here of one of my bookshelves. Love this, and this was using uh, one of the photo play, um, I think, was it Home and Heart that I received from Scrapbook Your Joy to do some, we did um, a hop, and we all received a lovely, lovely collection, and I used it in this one here, together with, of course, my Nicole Jones 911 graph. Uh, comfort show, so favorite shows, and this is all about, again, uh, just like my reading preference, mysteries are my favorite TV shows as well. I talk about my love for British uh, mysteries mainly, but I talk about Murder, She Wrote because it is sort of my comfort show. So I've tweaked that, and I may do another page a little a bit more specifically about Britbox and Acorn and the mysteries that I am able to watch on that on those platforms. Favorite music? That's a very specific prompt. And here I'm talking about classical, more specifically piano, and my favorite pianist, who is Alfred Brendel. Love this lot, a lot of journaling here because I talk about how I discovered Alfred Brendel during my backpacking trip uh, and some of the concerts that I was able to see in various parts of Europe, um, in churches and other venues. So this is probably one of my favorite pages. And I love this sort of diagonal here as well. And you see here, I sort of got it so that it would continue down. I thought that was quite, quite clever. So love that one. Tennis, of course, another one of my loves. That is not here re really. Uh, maybe it could go with one of your favorite things, that your favorite thing to do. Uh, it could go with that. I mean, it's not my absolute... I have quite a few favorite things that I... A, a lot of things that I love doing. So I thought that would encompass, en, encompass it. Oh, my goodness me. Words are hard. For sure. Uh, so my love of tennis. I got some lovely little tennis-related bits here from Shadney. Some wood veneer and these lovely little poxy stickers. Starting to see some gorgeous Dottie About Flair here in my book as well. Uh, favorite cocktail. So there you go. That's always a fun one. And now you 
you're seeing here some lovely bramble fox, which I've recently discovered and now subscribed to. And how I love making myself a martini to watch my tennis finals, which is why it sort of follows that one in the book. That's sort of a little bit of my treat often during a tennis final when the time zone permits. Morning routine about my coffee. This I probably did for a lovely Nicole Jones 911 design team because I've got some of these beautiful, beautiful florals on here. Some gorgeous floral clusters with some rosy studios. Um, I think this might be, I'm not sure if, is this Salt and Sunset? Or Rare and Beautiful Salt and Sunsets, I'm pretty sure. My morning routine about my coffee. A little bit of a tongue-in-cheek photo. We can treat... Uh, this was definitely a May I Scrap Lift You, and this I Scrap Lifted my dear friend Shannon from She's Crafty, a 12 by 12 layout, and I turned it into the 6 by 8 and I love it, and this was using uh, some of the Heidi Swap uh, collection. It was one of my How to Kill a Kits with Style, I think, and we can treat about smoothies. I love making myself smoothies. This I love. This was a May I Scrap Lift You and I was scrap lifting the lovely, lovely Sabri from Instagram. She is so, so talented and it was definitely a Nicole Jones 911 uh, printables design team. And I, this, this might also, this might be from a, a design and a scrapbooking point of view might be my favorite layout. I think the music one might be from the story and the journaling I got down, but this definitely is probably my favorite one from um, a scrapbooking point of view. And this could take the place of your favorite spot at home, which is one of the prompts as well, I think. Um, favorite standby, always a treat beautiful and here I talk about tiger lilies and how um, a favorite standby I have had them I had them in my garden in the house when I was married uh, when I used to be able to do lots of gardening in Hawkesbury when Deb and Ron were living there we had tiger lilies and how they seem to follow me everywhere because here even in the lovely apartment building that I live now downstairs about the only flower that we have we have trees and shrubs are tiger lilies and they seem to follow me and how they are always a treat to see. This is something I miss, which will, and I have not done um, the journaling because I don't really want to share the journaling. It's a very personal story to me and how much I do miss that lovely, lovely area and how as I was able to go spend a month in the country for several years and how we uh, were almost at self-sufficiency in our garden. It was a 2,000 square foot uh, garden. Life interfered with that. Uh, divorce interfered with that. Anyway, it was a beautiful, beautiful time and there are some lovely, lovely memories, but I do miss that lovely large garden and spending a month in the country when Deb and Ron used to go off on their holiday. I would spend my holiday there with the garden, the animals, and Chopin would get to spend a whole month with his girlfriend, Sophie. COVID hair, so this is your go-to hairstyle. This is not really, so this is modifying and taking the prompt elsewhere. I will do another page uh, with that, which will be a little bit more my go-to, but how, of course, throughout COVID, I have to just let my hair grow and wear it in a bun. Uh, almost normal, this is a fun, fun, fun one that I did uh, recently, it was for a stretch the sketch, and this is some fun exchanges, messaging exchanges with my dear, dear friend Helen, and we think we are, well, in fact, we know, we are quite, quite, quite hilarious. So there we go, and this was an exchange about something, a day that she had planned, and she had to take um, uh, her dog, she was reading and, and going out on a walk to the beach, and taking um, her dogs for their trim, and it, just, it was almost normal. And that's what the title is on that. And there you go. So that is 17 double page spreads. And I guess I probably have about 
that many more to go. So if we look at the album, it is, it's quite chunky. So I think this will be two albums. What do you think? I think this will be two albums. I love, I love this project. It is so much fun to do. Let's just have, let me keep that there. We'll do it on that and then I'll flip over and have a quick look at maybe some of the prompts that I still need to do. So me, favorite food is there. Your fears, I haven't done. So I might do something there. Um, something that you miss is done. Favorite shows is done. But again, I said I might do another one. Best friend, that I need to do a couple of pages on that. So social media, favorite app, that kind of thing is done. I haven't got my, my pookie in there. I need to do a few pages. Um about so siblings kids pets parents so mom and my pet what upsets you um i don't know whether i'm going to do that we'll see i think yeah maybe what's in your bag definitely not going to do that i have a small if i use a purse it's a small one it has my wallet my phone uh, my keys and my glasses and that's pretty much it and then if I use a big shopping bag because I'm going um, shopping or transporting things then it has those same things and shopping bags so that one's not worth doing F favorite clothes maybe I should do a six by eight on pajamas what do you think what would be your favorite clothes tell me what your favorite clothes would be I I could live in pajamas quite frankly I could live in pajamas in the summer I love the nice long flowy sort of nightgown and in the winter uh, I have more like flannel type PJs that really really do look because it's like a t-shirt top so it does look like house clothes and I guess if that was not it then it would be leggings with a nice long flowy top I like blouses that are quite quite long what would be yours what makes you happy I've done that what makes you cry uh, that could be a few because I cry quite, <laughs> I cry quite easily actually. Happy, sad, everything in between. For instance, the Olympics are finishing today when I'm recording this and I've been crying for two weeks. I cry at the Olympics. I cry for those who win, for those who lose. Um, the, the women's soccer final just uh, had me. I was so, so thrilled and thankful that Canada won the gold. I felt bad for Sweden. So yeah, uh, th that, that could probably be just an album. So <laughs> we'll see. I might just do one thing about how easy it is for me to, <laughs> to cry. And, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. What inspires you? Your favorite thing to do I've done. Favorite color that I might do a, a color combo. Favorite music we've done. Morning vi ritual was done. Treat the cocktail was done. Self-care. Uh, might do something about that. Oh, I really need to get those. Isn't that terrible? Oh, I should be so embarrassed about showing you my nails, my friends. Need to get that done. Celebrate you. Some me time. That could be many, many, many of those. I don't think I need to do anything specific for that. I've recorded scrapbooking, tennis watching, reading. I think those are all me time. Your favorite person. Um, I have more than one of those, so I don't think I would do that specifically. Home away from home is done. Bad habits. I think we all have a few of that. Maybe I should put a few scrapbook uh, pictures of scrapbook hauls. But that's not really a bad habit. Is that a bad habit? I don't know. What do you think? I don't know. Best thing about you? Well, I don't know. I'm 64. I have no idea what, what that would be. I'm comfortable. And I mean that. I'm not being, uh, I'm not in search of compliments or being, um, you know, humble for no reason. I, I mean, I'm just at a stage of my life now where I'm just very, very comfortable with who I am, with what I do. Um, so I don't know, I think the me currently would sort of cover that. Favorite spot at home, I've done my scrapbooking. Internet, social media made me buy this. I don't know that that would be that. I think this maybe needs to be, <laughs> maybe needs to be a Sarah Scraps uh, page. My lovely, lovely, dear, dear personal product researcher friend. Um, 
and an influencer maybe the hairstyle done and the favorite books so I, I still have as you can see from here quite a bit to do this is really really a fun project my friends so thank you so much for joining me again one of my favorites I think from a journaling point of view definitely one of my favorites from a scrapbooking point of view but I love, love, love this album. And I think this is something that I'm going to be able to sit back and smile and look through very, very often. Tell me in all of these prompts, if you, well, if you're doing this project, let me know. And if not, what would be the three or four prompts that really, really spoke to you? And if so, let me know down below and I'm going to challenge you to go off and scrapbook them in whatever format you scrapbook. It doesn't need to be a dedicated album, just a project. I challenge you to do it. Tag me when you do on Facebook or Instagram. Link me to your video, but oh, do it. Please do. That would be so, so much fun. I would love, love, love. Sheila, I'm speaking to you because you have been so supportive. You pitch in to all of these lovely things. My lovely friend Helen, I'm speaking to you too because you do do this kind of thing pretty much as a matter of fact, but do maybe one or two specifically related to this. Um, and of course, my also my lovely, lovely friend Joan, I know, I know you don't share, but please let me know which of these you have done and are doing. And on that, my friends, I will see you back here very, very soon. Bye for now. Thanks for being here.